live. It is Wednesday. What day is today? Wednesday, November. November. Wednesday. See, I take a day off. This is what happens. Wednesday, March 11th. Welcome to a VO's journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all of the crazy things that I seem to step on. It's wonderful talking to you. I wasn't on yesterday. I apologize for that. We've had some crazy things happening at home, so we're working through all that. Just, you know, Kids running here and there and all that kind of jazz, but everything is fine, and I am back today, busier than ever. Hopefully, you are the same. Uh, I've got an incredible series that I'm starting today, and the name of this series is How to Build a Voiceover Business, and I want to... I really want to go through this from beginning to end and really hopefully lay out a plan no matter where you are in your business that this will help you. And I hope that I also challenge your thinking with these things that we're going to talk about over the next few days so that, you know, maybe, you know, you might find that. Uh, you know, some of the priorities that you put in place might be different than maybe, you know, another person's opinion, because in the end, this is just my opinion, but hopefully it uh, gives you some great information. Today, we're going to talk about part one, which is start with a plan. Now, I'm going to throw a twist in here, and it's not going to be the plan that you think of, because you might say, all right, Anthony, you know, all right, everybody says, yeah, you got to have a plan, right? You got to have a business plan. But the question that I get and the question that most people probably ask themselves is how can I actually make a plan in voiceover for my business if I'm new or if I don't know even what genre I'm going to be in? Like if I want to do audiobooks or if I want to do commercials or if I want to do e-learning, I, I don't know yet. Or how can I make a plan when I'm not even sure that I, I know exactly what gear or I'm still trying to work on figuring out my DAW? How can I make a plan? Ah, Right. So you get all of this. So you think a plan is very difficult to come up with at first. However, I'm going to pose something to you that I think is misunderstood. And I think that you should start with a plan. And I want you to plan not what your business will be doing, but I want you to plan the life that your business is going to give you. That's different, right? That's different than we're used to. We're used to, you know, planning revenue and planning, you know, A, B, C, D. This is what the business will do. Marketing, et cetera, um, operations, all of this stuff where that's that's a plan. Right. But why don't we ever plan what our life is going to look like from the business we create? I think the answer to that is that we never actually stop to think that what's important is the life we want to live, not the business we create. The business we create is simply a vehicle that's going to get us to the life that we want to live. So I challenge you, no matter where you are, and you might be well in your business, you might have been doing this for a few years or many years, and you still don't know the life that you actually want to live. That should be your plan. That should be the very first thing that you do. And I'm going to tell you why. So let's say that I have always in my life, I believed, you know what, and, and I, I kind of do feel this way sometimes, but I believe that I don't know who in the world came up with the five day work week out of seven days. Right. And I think that's preposterous. In fact, I only want to work three days out of the seven days in a week. OK, I want to work three days. Plus, I want to 
um, go on vacation three times a year. And I want it to, so I want to be, my vacation will total two weeks per vacation. So that's six weeks total throughout the year. Plus I would like, you know, the holidays off and, uh, you know, I want to make sure I don't work on weekends and I want to make, you know, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. I want to get up at 9 a, 8 a.m. in the morning. I want to drink coffee. I want to take a nap at 1 p.m. after lunch and then get up at 3 and work from 3 to 5 and then go get the kids and, you know, make sure that, you know, that's my daily schedule. I only want to work, you know, seven hours a day or five hours a day. Maybe I want to work five hours a day. It is imperative that you plan for the life that you want before you start planning for the business you're creating so that once you plan for the life you want, then then we can start to build the business to give us the life we want. Because if you stop and think about what I just laid out, and, and again, that was just some random um, random example. If you think about that, how would you then go about making a business to support that? Well, we would have to think about things differently, wouldn't we? We'd have to say, well, if I really only want to work three days out of the week and I only want to work five hours a day, that's 15 hours total. So then over a month's time, right, that's 60 hours. So in 60 hours a month in order to generate. So, well, let's say 60 hours a month. And then, you know, we have six weeks off. So we'll say that for total, we'll do, you know, maybe 100 hours. Uh, we'll do 600 hours a year I'm going to work. So for 600 hours a year that I want to work, okay, in order to make $100,000, I need to make what? What is that? 600 times if it's 600 times 100 is going to be, what is that, 60000 So, you know, I need to make, we'll say $200. I know that's like 120 something, but we'll say $200 an hour is what I need to average. So I need to average $200 an hour, okay? And maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on taxes. But you get my drift, right? So I then figure out how much I need to average within the hours that I'm going to work a year, and I apologize if my math is, is kind of off a little bit here or there, but you get the drift, right? So then I work backwards, right? I say, okay, well, I need to make $200 an hour. What do I need to do in order to make $200 an hour, okay, during the hours that I work? How can I do that? And by the way, do is there ways for me to maximize the time that I could possibly use to work during those 600 hours that would also allow me to continue to make money when I'm not working? Okay, how do I do that? Well, we know there's options out there, right? There's ways to make residual income through the voiceover business. Okay, there's different things that you can do. But the, the point here is, is that I then begin to look at what I want to happen for my life. And then I begin to work and try to figure out how my voiceover business can build that for me. I, I, I don't see most people do this. Most people go right for the jugular on the business. And that's probably because most of us have never thought about actually building anything to support our life. I think, I think most of us, including me, throughout our life have built things like we support what we're building, right? What we're building is the most important thing. And we are here to make sure what we're building, like this extra entity over here has everything it needs, as opposed to us actually building something that is going to support us. I mean, it's a totally different way of thinking, right? Totally. So if we look at it that way and we start to change our mindset with that being a plan, that starting everything in the plan, I think that will move us in a different direction. That everything that we do will be on purpose. Every place we search for work will be on purpose. Every hour we spend to figure out something, we'll, we'll figure out, like for example, if you know you only have 600 hours a year, that means we have to maximize those 600 hours.
So as we go through this process, we realize, okay, well, I've got to do one, two, three, four, five things within this amount of time in order to maximize my time. Also, how am I going to market? All right. I don't want to market just three days. I want to be able to market 365 days out of the year, but I'm not going to do that. So how do I figure out what can my business do? What does my business need to generate? What systems do I need to build in order to have other people doing marketing for me, ads doing marketing for me, websites doing marketing for me. What do I need to set up in order for this to happen? When work comes in, who answers that work? Because I don't want to answer it for four days a week. I only want to have to work on Monday, you know, Monday through Wednesday, maybe. Maybe you hate, maybe you don't want to ever work on Monday again, maybe Tuesday through Thursday. All right. Maybe you need to hire someone and you might be like, oh, God, no, I don't hire employees. What about all the extra taxes and everything? I mean, we most of us, we're all entrepreneurs, but we're freelancers. There are plenty of freelancers that you can hire out there that you do not have to pay taxes. It's up to them, just like us, to come up with our own taxes. Okay, there is always a way to figure this out. I love um, one of the coolest things. Uh, that I that and ideas that I, I that someone put into practice was when uh, I, I interviewed Red Horrocks uh, from Fiverr and she was talking about creating some sort of process in order to do all of the work that she had to do. She had a problem. She couldn't keep up with all the work because there was certain things like being able to deal with the customers, being able to get all the work, submit everything separately. So she found someone, found a system, they created a system, and she hired someone to literally manage all of that. So where they put all the work into a single document, she goes through and records it all. That person takes care of the rest, and that's her day. That's how she does 600, 700 orders a month, okay, just from one site. You figure out a solution in order to satisfy the lifestyle that you want to live, but that has to be number one. You have to come up with the life that you want to live first. Then we can build the voiceover business. And through the rest of this series, we're going to go and dive into the meat of the other parts of the voiceover business, all right, from the gear and from your studio setup and from your DAW and from the marketing aspect and all these different things, okay, and, and you know, revenue and, and lead magnet, lead measures and lag, all these different things that go into running a business. But again, that business should be built to serve the lifestyle that we want to live. Because if we are going to spend all this time and effort and thought and pour our hearts and souls into something, it better be for something that is going to give us what we desire instead of us giving everything to it and getting nothing in return. It's not a job. <laughs> Even though most of us start a business like it's a job. But we're going to talk about how to make it not a job and how to make it a business that gives us the lifestyle we want. Okay, well, that's my spiel. I'm sticking to it. That is for part one. And if you have any questions or comments or thoughts... Please don't be afraid to ask here or post them in there. And as we talk, if you get an opportunity, please make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Richard, for reminding me on that. Um, you know, I, I, we are so close. I think, I think we are over 950 subscribers. Uh, it just keeps going up. And I thank everybody. I want to welcome everybody from Instagram, from Twitter, from YouTube, and Facebook. Even though Facebook is Facebook, so you know they ain't working well. So I can't see any, you know, most of the stuff from Facebook. I think people can see me on Facebook, but can't necessarily, uh, you can't necessarily see, or I can't see your comments, rather, what I'm saying. Um, so if you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please go ahead and post them. Other than that, I will say that when you are looking at your lifestyle um, and planning this out, be meticulous with it. I'm serious. Be, be thoughtful about what is it that you really want, right? What life do you really want? You know, what is it? How do you really want to live? You know, have you really ever thought about that? 
how you actually really want to live. I mean, I think in the end, we start a business because we hope that, well, a lot of times we start a business because we think, you know, we can do it better than someone else. But, you know, in this case, you know, a lot of us start a business because we love doing voiceover. It's it's a, an exciting thought to sit at home and, and get paid to talk. That's really exciting. <laughs> you might like to act or use your voice to express emotions. Sure, we like all that. But we also like the idea of being able to be in control of how much money we make, be in control of our life. But see, that's the thing. We all feel that way. We all start a business because of that, but we hardly ever actually plan for it. So I'm asking you to actually start with that plan. Start with what time you want to get up in the morning. I know that might sound silly, but why not? I mean, have you ever thought, like, if I asked you, really, and I look at you in the eye, even though I'm looking at my camera, but I'm looking at you, okay? I'm looking at you right now, and I say to you, what time in the morning do you really want to get up? Think about it. Like, what time in the morning do you, if, if you could just get up at any time you wanted, what time you get up? You might be like, well, psh, I wouldn't. And then I'd get up after one. <laughs> Maybe that's great. Maybe you don't want to get up until noon, Okay, or maybe you're an early bird and you like to get up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and go work out or something. That's wonderful. But when do you really want to get up? You can control that. That's what building a business should be about, right? Building a business should be about you controlling your life. So that's why I think planning your life is one of the most important parts to building your business. Because it, I'm going to say it again, what's the point of all of this if it's not going to give us the life we want? What's the point? So if you've not thought about that, I want you to think about it. Write it down. Okay, really, write it down on a piece of paper. You will find some, or type it. You'll find some amazing things happen when you write things down. And by the way, it will be a guiding light. It will be a guiding light for you. It will be a beacon. It will be a place for you to go for, right? It, it will be something that will allow you to create then everything that goes around it because you will be able to ask a central question. Is this or is what I am doing getting me closer to the life that I want? And you're going to come across, you're going to come across um, obstacles in the road. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to come across uh, situations that you don't know the answer. But you'll find that answer. Or you find someone who has the answer for you. Pay them for it, get the answer, and move on. Whatever. You can find the answer. The successful people find the solutions to the problems that other people can't find. You can do it, but start with your lifestyle. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. We've got Flip. What's up? Stop and oh, what's up? What's up, man? Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Uh, ben says, plan that in six months, you might be able to get a full night's sleep. Until then, suck it up and have a Red Bull. I love that, Ben. Ain't that the truth? Samir, hello, hello. Voice over Angela. Hi, Angela. Hello, Samir. This is one of the main reasons I want to do this for quality of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello. Now, listen, it's important. And, and I love Ben's comment. It's important that you understand that we're building something that's going to give us that lifestyle at a point. That's why we have to plan it. So don't think that it gives us the lifestyle right away. <laughs> right? We're going to have to build that through a lot of hard work and tough nights. Okay, I'm still building my business like I know you guys are. But when I started, it looked a lot, my business looked a lot different than it does now. I mean, completely night and day different. I mean, my scheduling, everything was different. I look back uh, years ago when I started my business and I think, man, I was like an energizer bunny when I first started. Okay, I mean, I felt, you know, and, and that was just, and, and you have to be that way. Okay, uh, let's see, Samir, this is one of the main, you know, right, we just uh, hello, what's up, TJ? Flyer here. What's up, Flyer? Eric here. Oh, Eric. Uh, hi, Anthony and everybody. Hey, what's up? Uh, that's right. Thank you so much for that, Richard. Uh, B-Doggy45 says 8 a.m. That would be nice. You could do it. 
Nothing is easy. That's true. It's not easy. I mean, you're creating a life that only other people dream of. And by the way, here's something interesting. I always thought that, um, awesome. Thanks, man. Is it Pran? Pran? I apologize if I said your name wrong, uh, but thank you. I appreciate it from India. It's awesome to have you. Listen, I, you know, I, I, I think back to um, the things that I wanted when I was younger. You know, I thought that I wanted tons of fancy cars that cost, you know, millions of dollars and a massive mansion. And I just, I, that's what I thought was being successful. I thought that's what I wanted, right? But as I've gotten older, I realized, too, that those things are great. And don't get me wrong. I, I don't I wouldn't mind, you know, having a, a, a few different cars that I, I want to have. But I don't feel the need anymore to have those things. It's odd. And I tell you this because a lot of times I feel like we think we need things because we really haven't identified the one thing that we really actually want or need. So we're trying to fill it up with a bunch of other things. And that's why I'm telling you to focus on the life that you want to live, like how you want your life to be structured, what you want to happen. Okay. And, you know, this business this wonderful business. I thank God the voiceover <laughs> business exists. It has given me my life. It's given me my life back uh, and a life that I never thought possible. Does that mean life isn't tough still? And like I had to buy a new refrigerator. Yes, I had to buy a new refrigerator recently because my refrigerator broke. Doesn't mean stuff doesn't <laughs> happen. It just means <laughs> that you can live a different life than what I th I always thought I had to live it was a life of me wanting things constantly, never having them. Now I have all the things that I want. Okay. Now what I want to do is help others have that wonderful feeling. Uh, let's see. Starting January of 2021, I want to get up at a normal 6:30 a.m. Work like crazy until 5 p.m. That's awesome. Hello, Anthony. I go. This is voiced by Jason. I go in a little late today, but I will watch what I miss later. Just got my first book deal with ACX after submitting five auditions. That's awesome, man. That's a really great ratio. Good job. Voice over Angela. All I want is control over my own life and more time with my family. Absolutely. And I would say, too, what kind of time do you want with your family? You know, I mean, sure. Do we have to plan every second? No. But. I think for me, like I realized too, is it is it time that we just want to sit around and watch TV together? Sure, that might be something. But is it time where like we want to actually go do things or do this right here or, you know, like honestly, use this business as a vehicle to build whatever you want to build in your life. Maybe you always wanted to do this and you always wanted to do that, but you never had the ability to do this because of that. Well, make it happen. Plan that first. And then build your business second. Um, Flip says, this is exactly what I've needed since day one. Thank you. Awesome, Flip. Let's take a look over at, uh, let's see, at Instagram. Uh, we got lots of people. Hey, everybody. Good to have you at Instagram. Uh, I love Instagram, too, because the names are so tough to pronounce sometimes. We got Bendy Joe. I like that. House Broker One. Uh, is it Arslan? Oh, sorry, I don't know if that's uh, that's right. We've got uh, Kalumi, Kalumiki, Pat, Frank, uh, and 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 Pran again. I apologize. And B Doggy Forty Five joined. You know, you joined B Doggy Forty Five just because I was talking about Instagram. I see you. All right. Well, hey, listen, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you have a, a moment and you like this, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, as well as uh, retweet this, like this on the other channels. And I really appreciate it. We're going to come back. And I know tomorrow is, is tomorrow tomorrow's Thursday. So it's ACX Thursday. And uh, we're going to dive into that. But we will be doing more on this series um, about building your voiceover business, how to build a voiceover business. Remember, the first part is build or plan the life that you want to live first. 
then we will build your voiceover business to make that happen or make that life a reality. All right, you guys, have a good one. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>